Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this week's Bullseye Trades Analysis. So every week I've been trying to do this video where I basically show what happened with Jeff Bishop's Bullseye Trades of the Week. So for you guys that don't know anything about this, Jeff Bishop sends out an email on Monday mornings where he outlines his favourite trading idea for the week. It's usually an options trade, what's well, always an options trade. And it usually takes a few days to a week to hopefully yield some profits, which it does probably about 80% of the time from what I can see. And so if you look in the description below, you should be able to find this whole article where I give a lot more details about the service. Uh, but most importantly, I give a full track record of 2022. And so from this, you can go through and you can look and see what the like track record really is. And this is pretty difficult to find a lot with these services. So I thought with this one, I would keep a ongoing track record. And for a lot of them, I'm doing videos like the one I'm doing right now, where you can go and see... Uh, video analysis of the trades. I was doing that every single time, but it got a bit tedious, so sometimes I, I don't bother. But you can see a lot of them are included. So you can go through, and so what I found is the average losing trade is about 50%. Uh, the average winning trade is between 50 and 200%, uh, depending on how you play it exactly. And I think that is something that you have to bear in mind, that if you're just starting bullseye trades, you may end up with a losing trade. For example, this week, uh, which was Tesla, and it was a 50% loss uh, for me and most of the other people involved. And so I think it's important. I got an email from, from a guy saying, hey, this is a scam. This is my first week with uh, Bullseye Trades. Uh, it looks like I've fallen for another scam. And so I re responded, and I think it's important if you are new to Bullseye that you do take time to look through this article and just check out the actual winners. So it's pretty clear from looking through here that you can easily make up for a 50% loss that happens every maybe 10 trades. So look at all these winners, all these winners, all these winners, all the way down here. Here we go. So here was the last losing 50% trade for me it was in June and it's now the end of October. So if you get unlucky and you end up getting into this losing trade or this week's losing trade right here, I think it's really important not to give up and be like, this is a scam because well, that's a loser mentality, <laughs> pun intended. Anyway, let's get on to the actual trade. So Jeff was wrong this week. He sent out this email early um, Monday morning. He said, Tesla's the bullseye pick of the week. Here are the contracts. He says, like, um, basically that he is short Tesla and that he's short the market in general for this week. Uh, he thinks there's a lot of pain ahead and that the market will sell off again. So we look down here. He's going for Tesla this week, this past week. I think the pressure from the Twitter deal and operational issues are going to keep a lid on the stock's upside. Well, China came out halfway through the week and said, actually, we're good. So the Chinese pressure, I don't know the full details about it, but it was something to do with the Tesla business model. They came out and they're like, ah, oh, we're fine. No problem here. So that took off that pressure. And then the markets rallied uh, like mad. Um, and also the Twitter deal went through, but it wasn't funded by Tesla. So it was funded differently. So that was something that also negated his uh, thesis here with this trade. So here are the trade details. Tesla November 22nd, 205 puts near $7. Uh, stop is close above 217. And here are the two targets. So let's take a quick look at the actual chart. This is Monday on the left. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Monday, like one of the things that, well, there's a couple of tips and tricks here if you're new to, to Bullseye. The first one is never chase it down. So it was a put, so you want it to go short. You don't want to jump in at the market open down here somewhere thinking that you're, you're, you're chasing and you're going to get a good deal. Never ever do that, in my opinion. You'll miss a couple. Like a few weeks ago, there was a few that if you had chased, you would have made money on. But the vast majority of the time, you want to wait for the end of the day or even the next day to get into a position on bullseye. It's just the way it seems to work with the way these things trade on Mondays. And so I was a little bit early. Normally, I wait until the Tuesday. So I took the uh, puts for Tesla in here somewhere about here. And so I thought I was in a good position. Unfortunately, the worst case scenario happened where on Tuesday it just gapped. Well, it didn't gap. Um, it just ran straight up vertically, <laughs> um, which was a nightmare. And that's like the worst case scenario. So you can see that it passed 217, which is around here, pretty quickly. Now, I've seen bullseye trades do this a few times where it'll go above the stop 
and then it will come right back down and it will close beneath it. Uh, but unfortunately we didn't get that in this case, so we actually closed up at 222. Uh, I actually held off because I could see like that maybe it would pull back down to 217-ish. You know, I could imagine it retesting like this level, which it did pretty quickly post-market, which I was quite excited about. I'm like, okay, Tesla has a big range, maybe this will sell back off and everything will be okay. But I got out on the, um, the Wednesday right here um, at a uh, 50% loss. Uh, before it really ramped up to the highs, thankfully. <laughs> um, and it hasn't really returned. I mean, I guess the other day it did return down towards this level. But when you take into account Theta and stuff, probably still was a good exit over here, um, despite that. And so these were particularly expensive contracts. Usually the contracts for Bullseye start around $400. These were $700. So... Um, the best bet f that I have to point out is one thing that I do, and I think people that are new to, t to Bullseye should also do this, is always have a similar position size, right? So you don't want to be in the losers with $2,000 and then in the winners with $500. So what I do, just general you know, position size and um, advice from me at least, is if you go in with four contracts that are $500 each, then for these ones you should only have had three, right? So $2,000 roughly would be the four at 500. And in three contracts at 700 bucks would be about 2,100. So very similar position sizes. The worst thing you can do is change your position sizes dramatically. And what a lot of people do in trading, and I'm sure it will be the same with Bullseye, is people that took this 50% loss will now size down into the next trade. And if the next trade is a huge winner, you'll not, still not even make up for the 50% loss. You might, but you might not. So bear that in mind. Don't let the psychology freak you out, especially if this is your first time trading bullseye. It's um, worth sticking to the plan, staying disciplined, making sure you don't change it. It's how most people lose money trading, I think, is they, they deviate from the plan. And the plan in this case is trade everyone the same, and occasionally you'll hit a 50% loss. But if you only hit 50% loss 1 out of 10 or 20 times, you're still going to make money. But the people that I know that have lost money with Bullseye or call it a scam or whatever are the ones that maybe take one or even two losses in a row, either by chasing or by having their own position sizes, um, tend to be the ones that give up and end up net negative overall with the service. Whereas the people that are consistent and disciplined, they don't chase, they wait for good entries, they keep their position sizes the same, are the ones that are making making money overall from the service. Anyway, if you want more information on this, like I said, go and check out my uh, article all about the track record. You can go through and you can plot the contracts if you want. There, There's nothing to hide here. This is a really open, easy service. It's only $97, which is amazing. Uh, I did a poll on the Facebook group. You can see the poll is Jeff Bishop's Bullseye Trades a Scam or Legit? and uh, everybody voted 100% legit, 21 people. There were some comments like, you know, it's not that easy sometimes. Um, Chris says it's legit, taking four out of six trades, all being 20 to 30% winners. Uh, Lance is saying legit when you get filled. Dubious when you don't, but it's not a scam. Uh, true. So it just takes a little bit of finesse. It's not, it's not that difficult to trade, uh, but it's also not the easiest thing in the world to do. So... If you dedicate time and effort to it and some good money management, I think most people can make money with this service. And at the low cost, it's ridiculously good value for money. Alright guys, catch you in the next video. Cheers.